Bumbledrop lived in a little house with a large garden. Lots of children played there and had such a wonderful time that they never went home until it was very late. It's time to go home, children. Come along now. Good night, children. Ah, now then, where's my dog? Bum bum. Bum bum. <coughs> ah, <laughs> so there you are. Uh, I suppose you want me to put your curlers in, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Go and fetch them for me. Oh, my goodness. Pom Pom must have fallen into the pond. Well, well. <laughs> Your hair has gone quite straight. But I wish you wouldn't make me put your curlers in. You're the only poodle in the world with straight hair. <laughs> and that's why I love you. <laughs> ah. All right, Pom Pom, now, you needn't cry. I've put your curlers in, and you'll have frizzy hair in the morning. <laughs> stop barking. Now, stop it. Uh, let's go to bed now. <sighs> Soon, Mr. Bumbledrop and Pom Pom were fast asleep. The moon shone on the little house, and all was quiet and still. But next morning, the children were playing and shrieking in the garden. All except one little girl, who was on her own. She was always stamping her feet and telling everyone what to do. So the children called her Bossy Boots. Now, what can I do to my doll today? Shall I pull some of her stuffing? Or shall I drop her in the pond? Ah, no, that's not a nice thing to do, Bossy Boots. Wouldn't you like to fly a kite instead? I haven't got one. Ah, uh -huh. but I can see some by that tree. Go and have a look. I think Bogey's already found them. Ooh! What wonderful kites! I'm going to take the biggest. No, you're not. It's mine. No, it isn't. It's mine. Give it to me, or I'll tell my daddy on you. No, 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 children. No fighting. There's a kite for each of you. Soon, all the kites were flying in the air. What a stupid dog you are! I've a good mind to tie you onto my kite and send you up into the air! I've a much better idea! Let's tie our toys on the kite instead! <laughs> Pom Pom was so upset that she ran back to her master. Uh, what's the matter, Pom Pom? Bubber. The children have tied all their toys on the kites. Now, now, children, pull the toys down at once. You can't tell us what to do. <laughs> I'm going to send my rag doll as high into the air as I can. Come back, Pom Pom, or you'll go into the air as well. <laughs> The kites have gone, and Pom Pom's gone too. I don't care about your silly dog. We want our toys back. It's all your fault that we lost them. It isn't my fault at all. Yes, it is. 
because you made the cake. And we are not going to play in your garden anymore until you've found our toys. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Oh, dear. Now I'm all by myself. Oh, oh dear. How miserable I'm going to be. <laughs> Slowly the days passed, and Mr. Bumbledrop grew lonelier and lonelier. Uh, if I weren't so old, I'd go and look for Bum Bum and all the toys. Uh, I wish I had a little boy of me own who would help me. Oh, I've a wonderful idea. I'll make a toy boy. Now then, how can I make a toy who can walk and talk and do all the things that real boys do? Now, let me see. Let me see. I got it. I'll put a torch battery inside him, and when I press the switch, he'll come to life. As the clock chimed two, Mr. Bumbledrop started to make his toy boy. And as the clock chimed six, the toy was finished. I've put a little lamp in the middle of your hat, and now, I'll fix your battery. Oh, oh, I do hope you work. There. There. Well, I never. My toy is coming to life. <laughs> Hello, dear old Bumble Wumble Drop. I'm so glad you made me. Uh, and I'm so glad you're alive, because I want you to find the lost toys in Pum Pum the Poodle. I'd love to help you, and I'll go right away. Uh, you can't go until you've got a name. You can call me One, Two, Three, Four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but that's not a name. That's a number. I'll look in my special book and find a name for you. <laughs> Oh, dear. I can't see without me glasses. Where are they? I'll switch on my light and find them for you. Magic beam that is so bright, will you shine your lovely light? Mr. Bumbledrop's glasses must be found, so please, magic beam, fly round and round. The toy pressed the switch on his jacket, and there was a noise just like a blue bottle on the window pane. The light on the toy's hat grew brighter, and the beam danced across the room to the grandfather clock. But the light was so strong that it shone right through the wooden door, and there were the glasses on the pendulum. Oh, how splendiferous. You must have a magic beam. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Torchy, 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 the little battery boy. I'm a clever walkie-talkie toy with bright blue eyes and golden hair. I'm a magic beam that can shine anywhere. Torchy, Torchy, the little battery boy. Torchy, Torchy, the battery boy. I'm a walkie-talkie toy. Press my switch, see my bulb start to gleam. It's the most magic light you have seen. What a wonderful full song. <laughs> and from now on, I'm going to call you Torchy. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to look for anything else? All I want you to do is find Pom Pom and the toys. And your beam isn't magic enough for that. 
Let's go into the garden and find out if it is. Torchy pressed the switch on his jacket, but his beam didn't shine. Oh, dear. It's gone wrong. Maybe you have to ask your magic beam a question before it'll work. All right. Magic beam that is so bright, will you shine your lovely light on Pom Pom and the toys? Where can they be? Please, little beam, will you show them to me? Now, I'll press the switch again and see if it will work this time. Sure enough, Torchy's magic beam began to work, and it shone into the sky, straight towards the twinkling star. As the beam touched it, the star grew bigger and brighter. By Jingo! I can see Bum Bum and the toys! Oh, you better switch off your light. You don't want to waste your battery. Oh, oh dear. Now I've turned off the light, the twinkling star has faded from the sky. Never mind, Torchy. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid you won't be able to rescue the toys. They're much too far away. Why don't you build me a rocket ship? Then I can fly there. What a splendiferous idea. Uh, I'll set to work in the morning. Mr. Bumbledrop worked on the rocket all the next day. And late that night, the rocket was finished. I'll fly to the star right away and bring Pom Pom and the toys back to you. Goodbye, Mr. Bumbledrop. Goodbye, Torchy. Very exciting to be in this rocket. I'll switch on the engine. Oh, dear. I wonder if the rocket will work properly. Be careful, Torchy. Faster and faster went the rocket into the sky past the moon, and up to the stars. What a lot of fun Torchy is going to have when he reaches the twinkling star. Torchy, 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 the little battery boy. I'm a clever walkie-talkie toy with bright blue eyes and golden hair. I'm a magic beam that can shine anywhere. Torchy, Torchy, the little battery boy. Torchy, Torchy, the battery boy. I'm a walkie-talkie toy. Press my switch, see my bulb start to gleam. It's the most magic light you have. Thank you.